Okay guys, so let's get the party started and as always this video is not financial advice and if you are new please consider subscribing. So let's talk about Caspa. Um, first of all market cap is sitting at 3.3 billion USD and this is a significant dip but we are going to get into that. If it comes to ranking Caspa is sitting at number 28 and the volume is sitting at 64.3 million USD in the past 24 hours so the next reduction is going to be scheduled in 27 days and all-time highs for hash rate is one to two exa hash per second guys let's go into a little bit of a longer time frame while well, outlook for caspa and price prediction because i know that you love these price predictions so mr nico on x uploaded this caspa has been on his watch last since june 2023 and has not disappointed this l1 has potential well that's the reason i'm making these videos and that's the reason you are watching these videos because i believe that the big portion of you guys are invested into caspa just like i am so um the next big leg up will be epic well two dollars 20 this is his prediction if caspa is going to reach roughly 4.236 extension fibonacci extension zone which i believe is a quite reasonable target for caspa this cycle so guys let's pull a calculator for caspa and let's see how much that will be in terms of you know excess right so we've got two dollars 20 by 13 cents that's going to be 16.9x well basically 17x so 3.3 billion usd times 17 that's going to be 56 billion usd and caspa is going to be let's say at two dollars 20 well i do believe that this is definitely possible and i know that many people are probably expecting well 50x 100x whatever but i do believe that well anything between 10 and 15x is still quite a reasonable gain anyways guys let's move to the chart by the way right so first of all this is a daily chart and if you guys remember i was mentioning in a previous update that these two levels well the first one 14 cents and the second one 13.5 are levels to watch and on this particular occasion i was right caspa dipped towards the downside and if you guys have um, set up limit orders i'm pretty much you are very happy with um you know this recent dip so now the next technical support the big technical support is going to be roughly at 12 cents for caspa which is you know this huge formation right that caspa is creating for many many weeks now and by the way guys if you would be interested into scooping up caspa pionex.us is giving you that possibility right now since they have listed caspa you know in us basically which is a fully regulated exchange and is available in 47 states so basically us users for you you don't have to deal with any type of vpns and on the top of that they got 11 built-in trading bots for us users and on the top of that i have managed to get you an exclusive promotion and that is earning 10 usdt for free pretty much so if you are going to deposit 100 usdt with my link you can earn 10 usdt which you'll receive after seven working days however this promotion is valid till 15th of october so if you want to well collect this free money basically make sure that you sign up with my links no pressure of course i have partnered with these guys so obviously do what you want with your money right and also let me know if you actually will be interested into looking at my trading i'm currently having all of my caspa on tangem right i'm not interested into trading caspa at the moment because my bag is very full and very ready however let me know if you would like to see you know let's say 100 dollars challenge to basically dca in dca out here on the channel right i do believe that this is going to be much more interesting than just looking blindly at um, trading views charts so guys coming back to trading view now what we can expect right it all depends if btc is going to behave itself right now btc is sitting at 62,400, right and the question is is btc going to see well more significant downside well um, let's have a look at ETFs first of all, right? So as of yesterday, 7th of October, we are seeing at, well, healthy inflow of 235.2 million USD, as you can clearly see. There you go. And um, let's have a look at liquidity because that's obviously very, very important thing, guys. All right, so 24 hourly for liquidity for BTC. And don't worry, we are going to go back to Caspar. But let's actually gather everything that we have so we can make some decision in here of what might gonna happen, right? So we've got significant amount of liquidity at, level $61,863 and if BTC is going to dip here well $73.6 million is going to be flashed out right so from market maker perspective I believe that this is very juicy level for BTC to dip which potentially might gonna um, well take the whole market with it 
but temporarily because also we have liquidity in this area and in this area right which is 64k and that is only 24 hourly and of course i'm not telling you that btc is going to dip into that 61k level but you know based on liquidity that definitely might happen and now guys looking at caspa right not a lot of liquidity stayed in here so as i was mentioning right caspa technically can dip to these levels of 12 cents let me actually come back to my trading view and let's go to caspa right so if caspa is going to dip to this well let's say 12 cents region right we have a lot of support that could be you know final flash grabbing that liquidity that we've just saw in here right and then moving towards the upside right building more momentum so that's definitely possible what i think might gonna happen in the next 24 hours of course not financial advice guys these are just my opinions on the market so to conclude um price might gonna go towards this level and probably bounce towards the upside well let's see in the next 24 hours and now guys let's have a look at a couple of different macro outlooks all right because max is still pointing out that we've got this inverse head and shoulders that is still you know intact basically right obviously there is a lot of shakiness and a lot of patience required for people to actually survive in this market but you know from the standpoint of tas things are looking good and also guys we've got bitcoin reserves on exchanges that have hit a six year low Low. and you should get ready because btc is gearing up for an extreme supply shock guys why i'm showing you that obviously btc is ruling this market right so if people are going to make more money with btc most likely they are going to have an appetite for more riskier assets potentially caspa right so that's obviously good for caspa as well and on the top of that guys this is where we are at in comparison to previous runs for btc well after the halving right so we still haven't seen this parabolic move old coins this is total crypto market cap that is excluding btc on a two weekly time frame so altcoins broke out of the eight month downtrend in the rsi with yesterday's two weekly close that was updated on october 7th and the price will usually follow altcoin season is near and guys this is probably the last opportunity i know that i'm saying this you know for many times on the channel right but based on the technicals that's pretty much you know kind of you know obvious to me at least anyways global liquidity guys we also have to remember that global liquidity doesn't go you know in a straight up vertical line right there are some pullbacks on the way however we still have a lot of way to go for global liquidity to go up right and speaking about global liquidity right for those that are new this is how it's looking right so as you can clearly see if global liquidity is dipping well the price of btc is pretty much dipping along with it too right however if i'm going to zoom it out to well let's say monthly time frame we can clearly see well when this is going to upload okay we can clearly see of what is happening right we are expecting you know global liquidity cycle going up and crypto is most likely well according to the history to follow right and of course our beloved caspa should follow too just like most of the altcoins why i'm uploading well sui and other altcoins right as i'm mentioning sometimes guys i'm not only in caspa i do have sui pepe and many other coins as well right so this way if for example pepe is going to do 5x i can basically move this towards caspa that isn't moving and move is yet to come right i hope this makes sense right i'm trying to protect my capital instead of being in one coin only all right that's it what i've got for you today i hope that you have guys enjoyed and as always peace and love crypto